I'm Holly Holden and I'm here with Karen Holden. There is nothing more feminine or pretty and proper to me than carrying a small pocketbook. I've always carried one, my mother always carried one, and I think because of my small stature, that's the only kind of pocketbook that I've always carried forever and ever. But you have asked me, how do I go about packing my little pocketbooks? With all your essentials and needs in that day. Let's start with the Chanel handbag here. And I think there was only one bag that ever came out with a handle, and here it is. I don't like to wear shoulder bags. And my husband and I were in Las Vegas at a convention, and I noticed this in one of the windows in the Chanel shop, and I said, oh, well, look at that. It has a handle, like a small handbag. So I made my, my wish be known, and for our anniversary that year, I was surprised with this, with this pocketbook, which has had many years of use, and, and, I, and I love the size of it. <laughs> this one is a special one from Paris. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Um, Louis Vuitton has just started in Paris uh, monogramming several uh, different items. It depends on the leather on the, on the item, whether they can boss it or not. But I talked them into doing something they had never done before. I talked them into embossing the little key fob holder. This is where they hide the key for the lock that goes on the purse. So there's the key. I and love I, that. <laughs> I had them put an HH on that, which, I don't know, it just makes it a special touch. A special touch. I, I, I think I'm the only one that notices it, which is the way I like it. And that one was the year that you came to visit Paris and I met Karen for the very first time. Oh, I love this one. And this was my incentive to run out to the store and I purchased my first Goyard bag. I'm happy you came to Paris and now you're part of the family. So. In fact, Right after that, it wasn't long before you were and Stuart had your engagement party. Yes, and this one here, this Ferragamo, you showed up to the engagement party and, and I just went crazy over it. And this one has a longer chain to it, but you... I fold it in half, um, just so that I can wear it like this if I need to, but for the most part, I'll triple fold it so that it makes just a little handle underneath. And that that's just the way I like to carry oh, it, so or as chic. a clutch. So cute. And for my, when, when I was first married, I wore a, a, a Pucci getaway dress when we left the wedding. But this little pocketbook was one we acquired after that. It's a Pucci one, and it's and it held it's held its own. Well, Pucci years. is timeless anyway, and I think just the colors in this are so beautiful. The gold little handle, but it goes with either of the dresses we have on today, even though they're bright. It's still Pucci goes with everything. And I do, I wear it in the summer and the winter and the evening. So that's one of my little evening bags as well. Oh, and this one, this is one of my favorite styles. Your Louis Vuitton bag. This particular size works really well as a shoulder bag going across, actually not a shoulder bag, but I wear it across underneath a coat in the winter when I'm in a, in a big city. So my purse is discreetly hidden or Karen knows. Yeah, this is great. It, just to shorten it a little bit, you just cross it over and tuck it under, just like that. And suddenly it becomes just a little bag that it can slip underneath my, my coat or jacket or on top of it as well if I'm in this city. So it makes it very convenient. And Absolutely. it fits everything that I need. And then we go to these special, special <laughs> Judith Lieber bags. And a couple of them have some really sentimental value. This one I wore to Karen's wedding. And again, it's a little challenge to, to pack what you need, but, but you still make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this one I wore to the Emmy Awards in, in Boston, which was great fun. And, and Caroline, my other daughter, gave me this particular Judith Lieber when, when she was married on, the, on her wedding day. That was a gift she gave that. to me. So all these little purses have special meaning to me. And I'd love to share with you how to pack a little bag for evening or for the daytime. All right, Holly, we're going out. Show me how you're gonna pack this bag. Let's pack this one, my go-to bag, right? Yes. All right, you hold. Okay. Very first thing, choose my lipstick du jour. One little lipstick. Now I stand it up on the side so I have room to put my, my phone in, which I face that way. Then I can't go out without my powder. This is a little compact powder that Estee Lauder makes. It's an evening one, and you can get refills for it online and very easy. So I have a little powder. 
I can't, as an interior designer or as a mummy, go out without having some scissors. Inevitably, someone rips something or <laughs> has a tag that has to be cut off. So I take my little pelican scissors and I slip those in there. I have to have a nail file just in case. <laughs> so I either take a long nail file and cut it short, or this happens to be a little hotel one, which fits perfectly, especially in the Judith Lieber ones. And speaking of which, my phone fits in every pocketbook here except for these two. So at that point... That's when your husband comes in. <laughs> it goes in Stuart's pocket. Then I choose a little perfume. So you can take those little samples that you get at the, you know, at the store or whatever. I happen to have a little vial that I just continue to refill, but I will add one of these little samples. How often do you need a safety always. pin? <laughs> Nine times out of ten, you I always wind up drop being. that in. And a purse pen. I love this. This is a. It happens to be a Tiffany textured purse pen, which is a perfect size. It's a little ballpoint pen. But if not, I mean, this is a hotel pen that works uh, well, and I slip the pen in there. You know, when you're, when you're out to dinner and you're having red wine <laughs> or something, it's a little tiny toothbrush, so I pop that in. Then you can take the little samples that you receive mm -hmm. when you buy makeup of cream, any kind of cream, but when you wash your hands and you want a little cream in your ladies' room and they don't have any, that slips right in there, a little cream. Judith Lieber happens to make the most beautiful gold comb gold. that goes into their purses. That comes with a purse for free. Wow, <laughs> but beautiful if, though. If you don't have a little gold comb like this, you can just cut a comb in half. That's all you really need to kind of like fluff up fluff just up. a little bit. So I slip the comb in and mad money. Mummy always said you had to have mad money. And I was telling Karen today what mad money means in, our, in my family. Mother would always say, you had to have a $20 bill somewhere in your purse in case you were stuck somewhere and needed a taxi cab or some, some form of cash in your purse, especially an evening bag if you don't have all of your credit cards. So I just fold up a little 20 and slip that in there as well. Breath mints. Very important. <laughs> if you have room, then this little, this little box comes in handy. But if you don't, I just sprinkle a few of the little mints inside, inside. the purse. Inside. Mm -hmm. And glasses. I normally wear glasses when I'm reading anything, so I can slip my glasses in here. But if I have to use one of my evening bags, I use one of my mother's little opera glasses. So it folds up like that. I love Isn't those. Isn't that great? Those are adorable. I know. So it fits, it fits so well in a little bag. And I always have either a, a business card or my personal card, which we had made up with Stuart in our name. One credit card, one um, driver's license. And I find inevitably it's very nice to have a little handkerchief. This was one that my mother gave to me and I just slipped that in there. Oh, I love it. And that's it. That's so you're, perfect. You're good and, to go. And it even snaps. <laughs> it does. There you are. <laughs> so we can go to lunch and we have a credit card. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe to this channel. And we'd also be overjoyed if you visited hollyholden.com to sign up for my new weekly newsletter, Mummies Monday Manners, where I'll be sharing tips on etiquette and the subtle nuances that my mother instilled in me. And I'll also include some forbidden faux pas, too. We are thrilled to share a sparkling tip with you each week. You will receive one secret directly in your inbox every Monday. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.